OpenAI unveiled its latest reasoning models, O3 and O3 Mini, marking a significant step forward in technological innovation. CEO Sam Altman announced this during the concluding day of the 12 Days of OpenAI event. OpenAI named these models O3 to avoid copyright issues with the television company O2 and acknowledge their history of unconventional naming practices. The initial rollout of these models is exclusive to select third-party researchers for safety testing. OpenAI plans to launch O3 Mini by January 2025, with O3 following shortly thereafter. These models are designed to tackle advanced reasoning tasks, setting a new benchmark for technological sophistication. Just a day before OpenAI's announcement, Google unveiled its Gemini 2.0 Flash Thinking model, which offers transparency by showing users its reasoning process. OpenAI and Google are both focused on developing solutions for complex scientific, mathematical, and technical challenges, intensifying the rivalry in this rapidly advancing field. Benchmark tests highlight O3's exceptional performance. It excels in coding, scoring 22 points, 8 percentage points higher than O1 on the SWE Bench Verified Test, and achieving a Codeforcers rating of 2,727. In mathematics, O3 achieved 96.7% accuracy on the AI ME 2024 exam and outperformed human experts in other scientific assessments. Its conceptual benchmarks also revealed groundbreaking success, solving problems no prior models could. OpenAI emphasizes safety and reliability, integrating a method called deliberative alignment into the models. This approach incorporates human-written safety protocols, making the models better at adhering to policies while reducing misuse risks and overcautious refusals. Early access applications are now available on the OpenAI website and will remain open until January 10th, 2025. To apply, candidates must complete an online form that requests various details, such as their research interests, previous experience, and links to any published papers and their code repositories on GitHub. They'll also need to indicate whether they wish to test the O3 or the O3 mini models and outline their intended use for these models. Researchers who are selected will gain access to both O3 and O3 mini, allowing them to investigate their functionalities and assist in safety assessments. However, it's important to note that access to O3 will not be granted for several weeks, as mentioned in OpenAI's application form. Participants are encouraged to conduct thorough evaluations, create controlled demonstrations of high-risk capabilities, and explore scenarios that cannot be tested with commonly used tools. This initiative builds upon OpenAI's established practices, which include stringent internal safety testing and partnerships with organizations such as the US and UK AI Safety Institutes, as well as its preparedness framework. Applications will be reviewed on a rolling basis, with selections beginning immediately. The launch of O3 and O3 Mini represents a significant advancement in AI capabilities, especially in areas that demand sophisticated reasoning and problem-solving skills. With outstanding performance in coding, mathematics, and conceptual assessments, these models underscore the swift advancements occurring in AI research. By inviting the wider research community to engage in safety testing, OpenAI seeks to promote the responsible development of these powerful capabilities. Now let's take a look at the new changes with Claude. Anthropic's AI model Claude is revolutionizing software development, reshaping how businesses and developers approach coding. Once entirely driven by human effort, this massive $736.96 billion industry is now turning to AI as a powerful ally, boosting productivity and making it more accessible than ever. Claude has rapidly gained traction, with coding-related interactions growing by 1,000% in just three months. Coding now constitutes over 10% of Claude's use cases, driving Anthropic's valuation to $18 billion. This rapid rise has attracted investments from Google, Amazon, and Salesforce, intensifying the competition with OpenAI, Google, and Meta. Claude's appeal lies in its versatility. The model not only generates code, but acts as a virtual developer, maintaining coherence across large-scale projects. With the ability to process up to 200,000 tokens, equivalent to 150,000 words, or even an entire code base, it maintains consistency throughout the development cycle. Beyond professionals, Claude is also democratizing software creation. Its user-friendly interface enables non-technical teams, such as marketing and sales, to create their own tools. This shift reduces reliance on IT departments and fosters innovation across organizations. 
Companies like GitLab and Sourcegraph have reported productivity gains of up to 75% after integrating Claude into their workflows. Despite its success, challenges remain. Security experts caution against vulnerabilities in AI-generated code, and some worry about long-term impacts on developer jobs. However, industry experts argue that these tools enhance rather than replace human capabilities, allowing developers to focus on high-level tasks. As AI-driven tools like Claude gain traction, the software development landscape is changing dramatically, opening doors for a broader audience to contribute to technical innovation. So what does Google's Gemini 2.0 flash thinking tend to bring? Let's find out. Google's Gemini 2.0 flash thinking model is setting new standards in problem-solving technology. Building on the success of its predecessor, this advanced model combines speed, accuracy, and transparency to tackle complex tasks across multiple domains. One of Gemini 2.0's standout features is its ability to process up to 32,000 tokens of input, equivalent to 50 to 60 pages of text, and generate outputs of up to 8,000 tokens. This makes it ideal for reasoning, coding, and multimodal understanding, enhancing its effectiveness in diverse applications. Unlike other models, Gemini 2.0 provides a transparent reasoning process. Users can view step-by-step -step explanations through a drop-down menu addressing concerns about AI's black box nature. This transparency builds trust and sets Gemini apart as a reliable tool for decision making. Early tests have showcased Gemini 2.0's capabilities. Researchers at LM Arena ranked it as the top performing model across all categories of large language models, LLMs. Its ability to solve complex tasks, including multimodal challenges requiring text and image analysis, has been widely praised. In a further improvement over the rival OpenAI O1 family, Gemini 2.0 flash thinking is designed to process images from the jump. O1 launched as a text-only model, but has since expanded to include image and file upload analysis. Both models can also only return text at this time. Gemini 2.0 flash thinking also does not currently support grounding with Google Search or integration with other Google apps and external third-party tools, according to the developer documentation. Gemini 2.0 flash thinking's multimodal capability extends its potential use cases, enabling it to tackle scenarios that combine different types of data. For example, in one test, the model solved a puzzle that required analyzing textual and visual elements, demonstrating its versatility in integrating and reasoning across formats. Developers can leverage these features via Google AI Studio and Vertex AI, where the model is available for experimentation. As the AI landscape grows increasingly competitive, Gemini 2.0 flash thinking could mark the beginning of a new era for problem-solving models. OpenAI's ChatGPT desktop app has introduced groundbreaking features, bringing unprecedented functionality to users. The latest updates include integrations with popular applications and an advanced voice mode, enabling ChatGPT to perform tasks directly on devices. Initially launched with four applications, the app now supports tools like Apple Notes, Notion, BB Edit, and JetBrains IDEs. This expanded compatibility makes ChatGPT a versatile tool for developers and professionals alike. For coding, the app integrates seamlessly with platforms like IntelliJ, IDEA, PyCharm, and WebStorm, ensuring smooth workflows. Advanced voice mode enhances user interaction, adapting to specific project contexts and providing personalized assistance. OpenAI emphasizes user control, requiring explicit permission for the app to access other tools. This ensures privacy when allowing ChatGPT to operate efficiently. Kevin Weil, OpenAI's chief product officer, highlighted the app's potential to become more agentic. Future updates aim to enable deeper interaction with computers, automating tasks, and transforming ChatGPT into a proactive assistant. While not yet as advanced as Anthropic's Cloud Computer Use feature, which navigates screens and types, ChatGPT's new capabilities mark a step toward redefining how humans interact with technology. These updates are available to Plus, Pro, Team, and Enterprise subscribers, signaling a future where AI seamlessly integrates into daily workflows. Now let's take a look at the Runway's talent network and how it's changing the world today. Runway, a New York-based company, has launched a talent network connecting businesses with professionals skilled in AI filmmaking. This platform is a game-changer for creatives and brands seeking expertise in AI-powered video production. The Runway Talent Network serves dual purposes. 
It provides companies with access to qualified professionals, directors, editors, and artists, and promotes the adoption of Runway's AI tools in creative industries. Many network members are part of Runway's Creative Partner Program, which offers advanced tools and exclusive opportunities. The platform addresses a critical gap in the market. While AI video tools have advanced, producing high-quality content still requires skilled professionals. From conceptualization to final editing, these experts integrate AI tools to streamline workflows. The network connects independent creatives and production companies with potential clients, fostering collaboration on projects spanning movies, advertisements, and games. Runway plans to expand this initiative by inviting more talent through online applications. The job board is also in development, allowing companies to post listings for specialized roles. This proactive approach ensures that the creative industry remains at the forefront of technological innovation. By bridging the gap between technology and artistry, Runway's platform is paving the way for a new era in digital storytelling. It empowers creatives to leverage AI tools while maintaining the human touch essential for impactful storytelling. These advancements demonstrate how innovation is reshaping industries and redefining possibilities. OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google are leading the charge, proving that the future of technology is not only transformative, but also inclusive and dynamic. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.